NJCDC were fortunate enough to be able to offer a wide range of free programming for students ranging from kindergarten five years old all the way up through high school programming. The goal being to keep students busy with their time with something meaningful and something enriching. Our arts program is aimed at kindergarten through fifth grade students. We have a brand new program this year, the Summer STEAM program, Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Math, which is all hands-on activities like a Mars rover, a hydro, electric kind of turbine that the students, they're designing it, they're going through the scientific method and they're building it. But that's for middle school. Our employment programs are for high school students, very often give students their first job whether it's working at the National Park with the Great Falls Youth Corps or doing community beautification projects with Junior Youth Build. And our on-site programs as well at John F. Kennedy High School this summer, International High School, Clifton High School, and Passaic Valley are enrichment programs for the population that attends those programs during the school year as well as rising freshmen that will be attending there in the fall. It's a known fact that kids will often lose some ground in the summer months because they're not engaged academically and so this is an opportunity to continue to engage them in their development. Besides the obvious of keeping students busy, we hear from many parents, it's just a good way to get them out of the house and get them off their iPad or get them off their video game system, but I think it's it goes a lot further than that. The younger students, they're simply doing, if they're doing clay or painting, they're working in groups and they're learning team building skills and they're meeting students who go to different schools that they might not see during the school year. With the high school students, many of them, it's their first job. So they're learning how to represent themselves, how to build their skill set, how to define what they're good at, how to show up on time and how to work for a paycheck and it gives them that that really meaningful experience where they're being independent and they're taking those skills to apply for enrichment programs during the school year, apply for future jobs when they're ready to apply for college. We're happy to be able to offer these summer programs for a lot of our families. If we didn't have these summer programs, they really would be struggling for having a good alternative for kids. Many kids in urban communities stayed home by themselves, for example, or perhaps with older siblings because parents can't afford to send them to summer camp or, or take off from work to care for them. So this is really critical programming. It's better for them to be here engaged in something that is meaningful, where they're having fun and learning and in a safe environment rather than being at home or perhaps unsupervised on the streets. Even if it's eight to 10 weeks, if a student's not in that structured classroom setting or really focusing on academic or just in a routine, they could slide back a grade level or even two, and we hear about that a lot. And then teachers are forced to play catch up for a month, two months into the school year, and that's just not efficient for anyone. So it's keeping our students sharp and engaged in something positive. It's great to see how much the kids love and enjoy the program. I love seeing them smiling and clearly that they're having a wonderful experience. They develop great connections with the staff and the instructors. And that's a part of what we do too at NJCDC. It's not just about delivering programs, but it's about developing meaningful relationships with our youth and being mentors for them as well. So we're, we're just delighted that we're able to provide that for them.